I think one of the things that you said very much at the beginning was is really core to GraphQL that I think people don't really appreciate. And it's the fact that it's a spec. And that sounds really stupid because of course it's a spec, right? But it, that is such a powerful thing because all of this tooling, all of this ecosystem around GraphQL wouldn't exist if it wasn't a spec, wouldn't exist if it wasn't clearly defined what is a GraphQL API, right? That allows people to build clients, that allows people like us to build products, that allows people to build all of this tooling without having to really care what kind of a GraphQL API it is, right? Like whether it is created with PostGraph, with WP GraphQL, whether you wrote your own GraphQL API, it doesn't matter. The tooling just works with any GraphQL. API. And I think that that's really powerful. And it sounds like, from what you mentioned, having a consistent process to influence that spec is also a big improvement over where GraphQL was maybe in 2016, five years ago now, uh, where now actually the entire community can be heard. And there's a clearly defined process for going from, I have an idea, to it actually getting merged into the spec and becoming ratified as part of a version of that spec. Absolutely agree. It seemed like there was a lot of bureaucracy back in the day with like how you could propose changes and when they were actually planning to be implemented. So if you were like a new, like uh, if you do some greenfield project or you're taking a chance on GraphQL, certain features were like not going to be guaranteed to be there, right? And so, you know, I just remember seeing a lot of hate back in the day or I guess it's FUD, right? More on like, oh, REST is better. You can't do X, Y, Z with GraphQL. They're not doing this. And the GraphQL Foundation, as well as the working group, kind of first laid the path to solidify like, this is going to be its own entity. It's like a living, breathing organism now with its own direction. And I feel like once that happened, the proliferation started. Like so many people were willing to take a chance, kind of based on the neighbor syndrome or like my neighbor's doing it. So now I'm going to do it. And then it kind of just went from there. So like it just takes like, you know, one company or one entity to kind of change people's minds. And I think that's what happened. Like Airbnb jumped on board. Similar startups at the time that were trying to iterate fast in 2015, 16. Like they took a chance on it because it was greenfield for them. Um, it's just interesting. Oh, Yelp. I remember Yelp published. Public API came out around that time and everyone lost their crap because like they'd never seen like someone outside of Facebook build a public API and then GitHub obvious was there too. So it's really cool to see the just the evolution over so many years. Now back to the foundation and the working group, what's your role in those communities now? So I started um, being involved in the working group maybe 2017, 2018, I can't remember specifically, but I've been attending pretty much every meeting. I've been taking notes at those working groups. Uh, for a long time. And as part of that, I started getting more involved in trying to help them run more smoothly, making sure that we were keeping track of like the action items, being more involved in actually reviewing people's pull requests and things like that as well. So I think that is part of the reason why when we set up the technical steering committee, which uh, Lee Byron set up, he chose the initial members. There's 10, there's Lee and 10 other members of the technical steering committee, he chose the first 10 and I was among them. So I've been very proud to serve for the last year on the technical steering committee. Now, the technical steering committee is, is a life, it's a lovely like honor, but broadly, everything that we do at the TSC is to try and get consensus at the working groups. So really, the TSC is there for, for legal reasons. It's there to take a vote on anything that needs a legal vote taken. 